This is the QX4's replacement. This is a 2011 F-150 XLT with the 5 liter. It's also got the XLT convenience package. You get some things like fog lights, remote start. Had the running boards on it, I just took those off. These FX4 wheels are actually my dad's. I'm just borrowing them for the winter. He's got snow tires, so. It actually did come with its own set of FX4 wheels, but again, the tires yeah, need to be replaced, so that'll come this spring. Get another set of Falcon Wild Peaks. Overall, it's in really good shape. It's got 206,000 kilometers. There's some scratches here and there, a couple small dents, but for how bad the used car market is right now, I'm overall pretty happy with what I got here. It does have the factory backup camera. It's nice. It doesn't look great at night, but it works. It has the tow package, trailer brake controller. A previous owner installed that. He was using it to tow a travel trailer. There's a little bit of rust here and there. I mean, you can see, you know, the rear shock should probably be replaced this spring too. And then the worst of the rust is not surprising on the underside of the rockers here. There's a little bit on the inside of the front doors as well, right on the very bottom edge. But overall, I am so much happier with this than the QX4. You know, the short wheelbase and the four-wheel drive system on that thing were really nice to take it off-road. But overall comfort and just trying to daily drive it here and there or even just drive it more often in the winter, it just wasn't, wasn't cutting it anymore. It was just too uncomfortable. The interior was just a bit too small for me. Um, you know, missing buttons here and there. Some things just didn't work at all. The power lock system always thought the doors were unlocked so you couldn't lock the doors if it was the keys were in the ignition you know buttons were falling off the stereo it made a weird whistling noise through the roof rack i had no idea what that was and there's just don't get anything like that with this truck you know i'll show you the inside here it's in great shape the previous owner was retired so no kids no pets nothing like that only thing i want to change about the inside is the stereo it's got this older kenwood it works, but the even just the radio tuner is very annoying to use. It looks like it was professionally installed, and if you look down here, it does have the Ford Sync USB port and the aux port, but it, because it's so old, I can't stream music from my phone. It only does phone calls, and it, I tried using the aux port to stream music off my old phone, and it did. It sounded weird. It was only playing through two speakers. It was playing through the front door and the rear driver speaker. And the only other downside is with this interior or this trim level, you get the smaller storage area in the center console because it's like the, the jump seat thing. You don't have the, the bigger center console with the center console shifting that some of the fancier trim levels have, but can't complain too much. It's clean. These seats are much bigger than what the Infinity had. And they are cloth, but hey, that's fine. I mean, the driver's seat's power. It's way more comfortable for me. I'm not super tall, but again, the seats in the Infinity were just, they were way too small for me. And there wasn't enough leg room. Like this has tons and tons of leg room for me. So I'm expecting it to be way more comfortable on road trips. And with the extended cab, you, know, you get the bench seat back here. It does fold up. Not a ton of space compared to the I think they call it the Super Crew Cab, which is a full four doors. But again, it's it's enough. You can get some tote bins back here, maybe make a little storage thing. I know they sell plastic storage things that you can kind of stick under here. They bolt to existing kind of seat brackets and whatever. Something that surprised me was that these the back windows rolled down, like they're power windows. I always thought they just either couldn't open at all or they, they popped open like old minivan windows. And I also have the little manual sliding window in the middle here, which is always nice. You get like a camper shell or a canopy on the back and you have your dog in there, you can open this window for him. And then the tonneau cover here, I'm probably gonna either sell this or give it to my dad. I don't really need it. I'd rather have just the open bed or a bed rack or something for the rooftop tent. 
it does seem to leak a bit too after enough rain or when I wash the truck you can see it doesn't, doesn't quite fit properly anymore something's wrong with the, the seals and it's not doing too well still works to keep your stuff secure though so I'm sure it'll still have some use for someone but yeah that's it that's the that's the truck as it is now hopefully do some more stuff with it soon I did get a new stereo I need to find some time to install that but yeah if you've got one of these 12th gen f-150s uh, let me know what you've done to yours in the comments I know there's tons of aftermarket stuff for these there's lots of stuff on Amazon you can get something I might do is replace these halogen fog lights with some LED ones off Amazon they're okay I mean same with the headlights they're fine but all this the chrome inside doesn't look great so not a big deal but yeah let me know what you think